Good day, friends. Good day, humans. Today is a very special video. Special, let's say, announcement. Or special sharing of the true informations. Why and how we have been deceived just in the last 2,000 years with every single action of ours with every single thought we are giving our energies away not knowing really simply because we are as naive and very gullible humans we are giving our energy freely to whoever is you know, there to trick us so today is just a story Similar as Bible was trying to give you a stories, some kind of fables, very fake teachings. They don't really hold much of the, the ground. And same with the old history books. They were kind of overlapping the, the Bible, Old Testament, especially the New Testament, where they have uh, distinguished now documents before the Christ and after the Christ, or before zero year and then after that. Like our, let's say, contemporary life. What if I tell you that it was all done very deviously on purpose to just keep us asleep, keep us away from who we really are? We are discoverers, we are experiencers, we are creators, we are not just some thing who is following the rules, regulations, church doctrines, sociolo sociological doctrines, doesn't matter now, medical healing doctrines, financial doctrines in the very you know, last 200 years. We have been indoctrinated so much that we don't believe our senses anymore. Yes, we see something and we go in the reactive mode. If we don't see something, we don't believe it. So they put you in the Bible, a bunch of lies. They put in your calendars, a bunch of lies. They never talked about a real <laughs> truth, what really happened with death, sacrificing, murder, resurrection of Jesus. So title, the real story about Christ Mass or Christ Mass and why and how Jesus has been murdered. Who to blame for all of this? Who was always in charge of everything we were born into? We were born into, let's say, existing depiction of the history, existing depiction of the religion. You're born in, let's say, Europe, you're mostly Christian, you're born into India, you're mostly Hindu or uh, all the, let's say, local denominations of something that was imposed on us as a, almost like a, a robotic entities who we were born into this and we know that we have to die yet we never talked about this we cannot talk openly about this until the time comes that somebody in the family dies or in the a big you know disasters happen so thousands of people die and then the wars happen and then millions of people die if nobody's talking about what happened after. What happened with this present energy that these beautiful beings who died hold it? They hold it for 20, 30, 40 years and they're gone. Yet energy remain. Same happened with the Jesus time. So these energies now there is some of us who actually translating this into 
a present vocabulary so we share with the world truth but I'm talking about real truth not deceptive and garbage truth that truth in the quotes that was just driving you more into sin because you will never come back here let's say you will never be alive so you have to sin do Sodom and Gomorrah like all day long all night long because your life is whatever you have that's it which is absolute nonsense this is why so-called Christianity at that time in about I think 400s after AD changed that reincarnations are completely removed from any New Testament why why was this very sinister act there was a plot behind this to try to really totally discourage you to enjoy and define the true meaning of your life now you're born into slavery you have to stay and remain slave you're born into like a illness you have to remain ill until you die so why this was done like this i'm asking questions so basically asking myself and trying to give you some kind of sane answer because this has no sanity in what we have been done to us and abusing the energies of the Christ 2000 and now 22 years ago this being has been born 2022 years ago so not on the calendar date as they estimated on the Christmas day the 25th of December that he was born this is what I want you to believe and absolutely every single one of you believed and cherished this when you cherish something what are you doing you're actually feeding this entity of so-called savior of the world even if you look around he did not save you Jesus at that time why he did not save you because it was twisted that he first of all cannot save you you're the only one who can find the ways to save yourself but only with your intent don't give your powers to anybody else preachers priests politicians bankers whoever your family members you have to start learning to become responsible human being by taking care of yourself first so lie was done when they say that he was born on 25th yet he was born August 21st in AD minus seven so seven years before the present zero zero year so why does it matter it matters because you celebrating whoever celebrating Christmas whoever is going around and christening the mass of mass consumption mass greed mass you know uh, hypocrisy mass pretty much expenditure of your energy into something that is not true from the 23rd of December until the 27th of December Jesus Christ was tortured tried to be killed could not his tortures, local priests of pretty much all denominations get together because they could not comprehend how he's doing these tricks, so-called tricks. So he has to repent and tell them the trick, how he can create something from nothing, or they thought so. 
So because they want to make almost like a patent on this without justifying that this is maybe you know, higher being creation or creation from the prime creator that Jesus called his father. So these dates are very specific. So has been actually Jesus was sacrificed for all these days, almost like a week time. The reason why you're celebrating now his birth, so called. So he was born on the Christmas time. So you can spend money, pray to him. Actually, you're not praying to the Christ energy. You're praying to the dark entity who took over the energies of Jesus at the time of December 25th to 20, 23rd to 27th. So because they could not kill him at that time, physically, after all this torture and he didn't want to divulge the secrets because he was telling them the truth. You have to be clean of any sins to be able to do any kind of miracles. So why they didn't want to hear it? Because they thought they are better than him. And it cannot be somebody who comes in here and blame, basically put all the blames on their bad behaviors so they cannot live pretty much everlasting life as he was teaching at that time. That you can actually, when you cleanse your body fully and when you cleanse your spirit and fully connect with your prime creator, you are actually attaining ascension or everlasting life. So the story gets even more gruesome. After that, maybe a couple of hours, they were doing some kind of elaboration, what to do because this cannot go forever, because people are starting getting anxious. They are uh, praying in front of the, uh, their uh, castles because they want Jesus to be freed so they can share with him his stories, his energies, and so on. Yeah, this is what they were getting very upset, these dark entities who were pretty much controlling all the money system, exchange system, slavery system at that time. And they did not stop until recently, a couple of almost months ago. So they actually found a way how they can replicate the energy of Jesus. They've decided to cut him in pieces. They decided to preserve certain organs so these organs will be there some kind of mantra or they get some kind of uh, how you call this when uh, you have like a a thing that's giving you unlimited source of let's say wisdom, energy, powers. And in this case, it was pretty much, they were just hoping they would give them the dark power so they can control the masses on the different levels, from different perspectives, from different angles. So this is the situation where the these 13 bloodline families were born. But in no avail because these kind of eating habits, they presented it on the Last Supper that the Jesus was served as a meal. And these are not apostles who are encouraging his teachings. They are just imposters who are abusing his pure energy that he contained in his physical body. So, they get so screwed up, these dark entities of control, you call them Illuminatis or they call themselves, you know, the Zionist movement and so on. This is like all little fractions, they kind of spread across the globe, not to be easily recognized, not to be caught. They're actually part of 
a very sinister plot behind this. So, what people doing by celebrating Christmas? Buying huge amounts of meat, sacrificing meat at the table. This is what church is so adamant to you know, go and kill your pig, kill your cow, bring the church the best piece of your, let's say, meat, and you'll be prosperous in the next year. But it's not the case, because this was built for the reason to steal every single bit of your spiritual energy that the mentioning of the Christ name brings into someone. So as soon as somebody talks about Christ energies, Jesus Christ, what he did, you start producing certain similarity of the energies that he represented at that time. This continues through the history of last 2020 years. And we as a humanity went deeper and deeper into slumber. Not even want to hear a story like this. Because every time somebody comes up as a, let's say, true teacher, who's carrying the clean Christ energy, meaning that he's not judgmental, he's not jealous, he's not greedy, he doesn't kill, he doesn't eat meat. He's just there to be at the service for the humanity who is willing to hear. So through the history, you just pick whoever you like the most, just in a contemporary history, doesn't matter, Mandela's, Gandhi's, Assange, Trump, Martin Luther King, we can go back, but let's say these guys, what are they representing? They are the Christ energy that is sent here for us to get better, to get out of this religious dogmatic slumber that we so deeply sleep. So why they have to blame you as a sinner so Jesus must must be killed or he was killed because you are a sinners no this is the way around they kill Jesus because they wanna implement you as a killer and you did not say anything about it until now and I wish there's many and many people start saying and start claiming back their energies. They were stolen through every single lifetime since 2000 years ago. Let's extend it to 4000 years ago. Because there is even thicker and more sinister story going from before. So you as a very, you know, unclean human, you will not have any single chance to ascend. And this happened two year, 2000 years ago. That happened 4,000 years ago and so on. If you go backwards every 2,000 years ago, the creation comes here to pretty much help us with our ascension. Yet there was nobody to be helped. So in the last 2,000 years, Christ shows up and then many other beautiful light Christ beings one of these is Julian Assange, another one is Trump. So they will show you the way, but it will be absolutely up to you to make your own choice. Would you like to support the programming of greed, the programming of really nasty religion that you are harvesting blood and meat and flesh from other living beings and that you're feeding these beasts without any recollection that you can do better that you can absolutely get ready for the ascension simply by getting better so how how to become better 
how to become better than yesterday, how to become a better person that you've ever been.